Why, hello. Let's get out the current Dash Neo 2s because I need a treat today, and these are a treat. Look at all the beautiful colors that comes in this giant set. There's a lot of gaps in this because I took out ones that weren't light fast enough for me. I kept them. They're just separated out. I only want to work with stuff that's light fast enough for me. Let's do some alien landscapes. Yeah. What do you daydream about the most? I'm curious because I seem to daydream a lot about places that aren't here, times that aren't now. I seem to be very, very uh, in tune with those sorts of things. That's where my mind often goes to. So I spend a lot of time imagining and creating in my brainscape places that are not here. I dream a lot about that sort of thing. I don't know how many of you have dreams where you're an active participant, but I often have those sorts of dreams where I get to create and make decisions and move things within the spaces around me. And it's, it's kind of what I would consider part of the meditation process, part of that meditation process while you are sleeping, because you can very much do those sorts of brain activities while you are sleeping. It does not make the sleep uh, less valuable, not at all. It's, it's still resting your body while exercising your brain. If you haven't had those sorts of active participant dreams, you probably can train yourself to do them. And what I would suggest is starting meditation and continue essentially indefinitely. Just keep, keep doing it because it is a lifelong thing. Meditation is an extremely good way to exercise your brain. It just is. It is a good way to kind of just get yourself centered and be able to better understand and cope with the things around you. I think it's it's kind of a necessary thing to be awake with the things around you. And I know it's a hard ask. I know it's a hard ask to ask people to meditate regularly as a life purpose and to continue to do so indefinitely for the rest of your life. I know that's a lot to ask, but I think it's important. I really, really do. And the value to your future self outweighs the effort it takes to do it. It just it just does. I cannot express to you how much it can actually help you just in life. It really, really can. This place was a very intense dream that I actually was only able to go to once. I have not been able to go back. And sometimes it's like that. You know, there's only really a couple of different kinds of these sorts of dreams. There are the dreams where you are visiting a place that is already there and the dreams where you are making the place you want to be. It seems to be either one or the other. There's not really much combining of the two. You're either a visitor or a creator. In this one, I was a visitor. I was in this place, a very desert sort of place. All of the colors were incredibly vibrant, more vibrant than even normal. And my, my baseline is already pretty intense. But this was a desert landscape that was very dry. There was a lot of wind and canyons and rocks that were very bright oranges and reds and yellows. And I was running down the hill, being chased, kind of chased, but I couldn't see the thing. All I know is I had to get to the town below. I often find myself in places I shouldn't be, and this was one of those things where I shouldn't have been in those mountains, and I knew as soon as I was there. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like that sometimes. I am a kind of a stubborn creature. But uh, the universe seems to mostly just allow me to go where I want to go. I, I don't get bothered often. Sometimes I do. But it, it's, it's not very often because I think in a lot of ways I'm seen by the other creatures of the universe as kind of like a puppy. <laughs> I don't exactly know why I'm chewing on table legs of things, but I happen to do that. You know, doing things that I'm probably not supposed to do, but... The other beings seem to just kind of look at me with kind of unexpected delight and smile and just, just let me chew on the tape leg. <laughs> but the town below was a, a desert town, of course. I couldn't hear anybody as they spoke psychically. And I, because I'm, you know, I'm a human, we're not very good at that. I had to have a device to help me. It was like a hat. So he put on a hat and then he could communicate with the other beings in the town. And so a lot of these places that I visit, it's not 
humans that I'm visiting. It's other beings. I use the phrase being a lot because out there it's very difficult to uh, really understand what sort of creature the other beings are because you can change your form in these sorts of travels. A lot of times it's easier to not exactly have your actual physical form. A lot of times if, if you're not actually trying to project a form, a lot of times you're kind of more like a collection of spheres. <laughs> it's kind of closer to what the soul looks like. And I am shades of blue. Aloe blue to be exact. Good old PB15 for those artists out there who know about pigments. But I was given refuge at the oasis, which there there are plenty of kind beings out there. There there's lots of them. There there's countless different types of beings and creatures out there. There's way too many places than a human brain could count. And there are so many things that I will likely never fully grasp. There just are, that, that's just how it works. The universe is too broad and too large of a scope for humans to comprehend. The magnitude is just beyond comprehension. And there's a lot of beauty to it, and there's a lot of ugliness to it. The way the universe works is through balance. And I mean balance on a very, very large scale. I don't mean on the smallest of scales, person to person, that, that's not what I mean. I mean in a balance of generations, balance of centuries, balance of planets, balance of species. That's what I mean. It's a very different sort of mentality to try to comprehend some of this stuff. You have to step outside of the daily struggles that you go through as a human to at least try to grasp some of the larger picture because it's a very difficult thing to do and it's one of the reasons why this is a lifelong adventure in meditation why this is not a one and done maybe a couple times a year sort of thing no this is continuous work continuous effort that's what it should be that desire to be one with the universe that is something that is grander than anything that is within the just common realm it's something different it's something bigger and it is something to keep working towards and keep doing. And really the fundamental reason for religion is to try to help you get to that, to get to that communication between you and the universe. That's, that's really what it's a trying to do. The thing is, when I say universe, it's really a stand-in word for a thing that I can't really comprehend, a larger thing that I cannot comprehend. And a lot of religions have a different word for it. A lot will call it God or Allah or Yahweh. You know, it, it's it's the same thing. It's the same thing with different flavors. So it, it's the purpose to try to get you to that. It's that ongoing commune you have with the larger things in the universe. But the reason why I have issues with organized religion is that because each organized religion stops time. That's what it tries to do. It tries to stop time and think that, oh, this is the correct, there's no more information to add. And that's not correct. <laughs> the world keeps going, the world keeps turning, the universe keeps adding, and it will always add. There is no static moment in time. It keeps going, it keeps adding. That is the purpose. And you can find that connection if you ask for it and you continue to work towards it. You just have to be open to it. You have to ask, you have to want it. And each time you're here, your tests are different. Your tasks are different. So what do you think of the painting? I like this one. I think it turned out pretty good. A little bit of crusties in there, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll wipe them away. It's fine. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out today. Keep your cup full. Bye.